you know, I don't want to just discredit um, everything that we did this year. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of positives that we saw throughout the year. You know, a lot of adversity that this team had been dealt. Um, and I'm still proud of our team for how we handled some of those really adverse situations. Um, you know, they they weren't they weren't all easy, and uh, that's the NFL, man. Every there's going to be 31 unhappy teams, and this is going to be the feeling every year uh, unless you win the Super Bowl. Um, so again, obviously we we want to we want to win our last game, and we didn't do that. So. Um, a lot to learn from, a lot to grow from, um, but you know we're gonna stick together as a team and uh, you know as an office and an organization, and you know continue to try to figure things out. Whenever you lose, you know you 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 go back to the drawing board. You're like, oh, I gotta make some changes. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Like I need to work harder. Like you know all of you, you should always debrief. Um, but I honestly feel like we're in a unique spot here, and um, we got a great football team. We got great coaches. We got great staff. Great players. And, you know, sometimes, you know, more isn't always the answer. Sometimes you just gotta just keep playing. You know, um, just so many emotions all at the same time, and then, you know, just a lot of disappointment, um, a lot of sadness. You know, you're not gonna. The team will look completely different next year. Um, you know, you, there's always gonna be a couple teammates you might be closer to that might not be here. Um, just working all year for the same goal and then just coming up short again is very frustrating. Um, but, you know, then again, you learn a lot of things about yourself through times like this, and um, it's going to give us a lot of good uh, things to build on and things to learn from moving forward. You know, we gotta we got to play, play better in the later parts of the season. Um, you know, we got to find a way to, to peak at the right time, you know, in the playoffs. So... Um, we got a lot to look at, a lot to learn from and grow from, you know, and we're going to continue to, uh, you know, keep working on things. You know, of course, it, it didn't end like we wanted it to, but, I, you know, I came here to have multiple shots at winning the Super Bowl. I came here, you know, this wasn't my, I didn't feel like, you know, this would be my only shot, like, this one year. I felt like I had multiple shots at the Super Bowl by the way this team was built, by, you know, our quarterback, our defense. I felt like I had, you know, multiple chances at the Super Bowl, and, and I still feel like that, man. And um, I don't. Th I mean, it's the NFL, and again, the first few weeks of a season, you don't really know, you know, who the teams are in the league. You know, the first couple games are a really big fill-up process for for everybody. Um, and as you get in the later part of the season, that's when, you know, the opposing teams, you know, defenses in, a, in general, are starting to click, and you know, they're figuring things out too. They've got film on you, um, so we got to be. We got to be adaptive, and we got to figure out ways to again make it a little easier for us. And uh, you know, going in the off season, talking with with the coaching staff, and just figuring out again ways to maybe lessen that burden. Um, uh, so again, there's a lot to learn from. In six months, it's going to be a new. In, in six months, we're getting ready to get back and try to find a new Super Bowl champion. So we can, uh, you know, let that loss yesterday create a loss for us in the off season or let it carry over into, you know, this next season. We, we just got to keep pushing, man. And, you know, at year 12, I just got a, I just got a different perspective, man. Guys are competitive. Um, again, we don't want to lose. It's not fun losing. It's not fun losing that way. Um, so it's, it's all understood, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we got to be there for each other and, and uh, continue to keep pushing forward. So I'll be 34 years old in March, so you can't, you know, take too much time off. You know, and I love cheesecake and wine too. So, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta balance those things for sure. So I, you know, I, I cut out some of the cheesecake and wine for a little bit, and you know, I get back to work, man. I, I love everything about football. I, I love, you know, I love this, man. And you know, as long as uh, you know God says the same, I'm, I'm gonna keep coming up here with the same positive mindset, the same optimistic mindset, continually pushing my teammates, con continually you know striving to put that Super Bowl banner up there.